Hello! Guys, yes, FIFA 22 is finally out. Well, I know a lot of other content creators have been already making FIFA videos. Unfortunately, I did not get any code like that, so this is my first time accessing the game with EA Access. I also don't have a next-gen system, so yeah, we're on the PS4 right now. I am getting a PC soon, though, so we're definitely going to be switching there in the future implementing the mods and all that but today i wanted to go through all of the new teams they add in fifa 22. yes they lost a license for a lot of teams including city out teams such as lazio atalanta but along with that they added a lot as well and one i'm really excited to check out is hajduk split i know they added the indian league as well pretty sure they added the ukrainian national team I'm about to take a look at all that today and maybe play with one or two of these teams online before we get into any of that though let's take a look at our sponsor one football one football is an amazing app which keeps you up to date with all of the latest football news instead of having to google search everything over and over again everything is right there on the app easy to access and view for nearly every league you can check out the schedule the current standings the latest news and you can even select your favorite team you wish to receive extra notifications for you can even check out the stats of every player in each competition which can help you make changes to your fantasy team and all that. Guys, I highly recommend you get this app. It's free, easy to use. You might as well go check it out now. I'll leave a link in the description below. Wow, this is a pretty laggy menu. I'm assuming because we're on the PS4 and not the PS5. Yikes. Oh, there they are. Hajduk split. All right, so Dinamo Zagreb just edges Hajduk split on ratings with four and a half stars while Hajduk split is three. Ooh, they got Ferenc Varos as well. Three and a half stars, Rexham FC. I'm eager to check out the Hajduk split squad though, real quick, before we get into anything else. Ooh, Kalinic is only 73 rated in this game. 48 kicking. We've got the Hungarian player Lovren... Lovren sits. Lovren six. Simic. Elez. Cholina. Buk. Krovinovic. Vukovic. Sahiti. Livaya. And Mlakar. All in the starting 11. All right, in terms of play ratings, this team is nothing to show off about, but it's just nice to have another Croatian league team in FIFA. But the national team is probably still not here, right? Right, yep, it's not here. Okay, Ukraine, there they are. Four stars in this game. Eager to check this out as well. Yes, Zinchenko playing in the center mid position. Obviously a very solid squad glad to see they're finally in the game But a main reason why I want to switch to PC is so I can implement mods so I can actually have all of the national teams in the game uh, But yes for the console players like I once was myself glad to see that Ukraine is finally in the game You know even though they added the Indian League I'm realizing they took off the Indian national team in the game Which is honestly a huge deal. It was fun to use the Indian national team They were just that one star international team that you know You'd have some bands with your friends and use if you know you were a lot better than them Not just India though. I didn't even realize it while I was recording but they actually took away so many national teams This list includes Bolivia, Bulgaria, Cameroon, Chile, Colombia Ivory Coast, Ecuador, Egypt, India, Paraguay, Peru, Slovenia, South Africa, Switzerland, Turkey, Uruguay, and Venezuela. That's a huge list of national teams missing. I mean, I'm glad I'm switching to the PC so I can get these guys back, but it's just crazy how many teams FIFA have lost now. Yeah, in terms of licensing, EA is really falling off. Like, this is what I'm talking about, for example, Bergamo, Calcio, Latium. Also, are they really four stars now? Jeez. Piemonte, Calcio... Roma FC. All right, well, let's go back to India real quick because I was talking about their club teams. Uh, looks like they're all one star or half a star. But yeah, let's jump into some seasons to try out some of the new teams they added. I think I'll start off with Ukraine first and then use Hajduk Split. Should I make any subs? I kind of like this formation. Maybe Shaparenko can go. Uh, Marlos might be a bit better. Yes, he is. We're putting him in. And ooh, this guy's quick. He's probably a lot quicker than Yarmolenko. Yep. Sorry, Yarmolenko. You're a beast, but you gotta go. We'll roll with this lineup. I think it's not too bad. Let's go. Ooh, definitely noticing a bit of a difference in the gameplay already. Oh, God. This is gonna be an adjustment. No offense to Ukraine. I'm not sure if it was the smartest choice to, you know, play my first ever FIFA game with only a four-star team. But at the same time, you know... I I, I believe in us. I believe in us. Come on, Ukraine. Oh my god, Zinchenko, are you serious? Oh, what a save, Piatto. 
All right, Marlos, easy to spot with the gray hair. Ooh, that freaking spin! What a save! Come on, get on him. Oh, this is the problem with Arsenal, bro. Aubameyang in his pace. It's, it's, it's hard to beat. I like to see this guy try to use uh, Yaremchuk instead of Aubameyang. Let's go, Marlos. Oh. Oh, where's his defense? Yaremchuk. Yo! Please tell me that's not offside. Yes! That is my first ever FIFA goal. A bicycle kick with Marlos. Oh my god. Marlos, the genius. Woo I'm actually in shock. I was not expecting my first FIFA 22 goal to be that nice. Let's go 1-0 against Arsenal. Come on, get there. Dude, Marlos. Marlos at the defense as well. This guy. Marlos again. Marlos again! Oh, probably should have passed there. Nice save. No, no, no. See, that's the problem. Definite goal, man. I can't catch Aubameyang. I think we've been the better team. This guy's getting lucky with the pace. Let's go, Yadam Chuck! How'd you miss that? Nice, Marlos. No! Come on. Malinovsky! What a save! Come on. Come on. Yaremchuk. Marlos! Hoo. Hoo. All right, that's half time. Ooh, mistake, mistake. Oh, no, I don't want to give a goal like this. Now, that was horrible goalkeeping. He should have saw that. Ooh. Yo, ref, come on. Oh, shoot. Please don't tell me they changed the penalties this year again. Okay, it's the same. I'm horrible at penalties, though. Try our best. Yes! 2-2, two, two. we're back in it. No. Oh my gosh, I... I need to learn how to defend, yes, I know. Let's go! Lucky goal, maybe, but I don't care. Triskanov gets our third goal. 3-3 now. I guess this is going to be another high-scoring FIFA. I mean, in FIFA 21, all the games are finishing like 5-4, 6-7, or seven, something like that. Shoot that! No! Come on, come on, come on. Get back! Okay. GG. Well, it's not over yet, but... Shit, it might as well be. Finesse! No! Come on, please. Let's go! Last minute equalizer! Oh, yes! 4-4, four, four, Ukraine! You know what? We, we might have not gotten the win. But it's just been such an incredible match. This team is actually fun to use. I don't hate the gameplay as of now. I just need to learn how to properly defend, as I said a million times. But yeah, 4-4, our first result here. You know, us being like somewhat of underdogs, okay? Arsenal's attack is very OP, obviously, with pace being a huge factor in FIFA always. We still manage to get a draw against this guy. 4-4 Thriller. And I'm, I can't forget about this goal from Marlos. Woo! My first ever FIFA 22 goal, a bicycle kick. Let's try using Hajduk Split now. Hopefully we can find a game. I'm not sure how they pair everybody, you know, because of rankings and all that. All right, this is the fourth time I tried. I'm giving up.
EA just don't want me to use a three-star team against somebody that's going to use a five-star team. I guess we can do this and kick off. You know what? Instead of Dinamo Zagreb, I'm going to put in Ferenc Varos. Because uh, they're new to the game. It would be nice to see Dinamo Zagreb versus Hajduk split, obviously. Maybe we'll do that for another video. But in honor of having these new teams out, I say we go up against these guys. All right. Ooh, that's a horrible way to lose the ball. Jesus, that guy's fast. What the hell? Yo! This guy just absolutely outpaced everybody in my defense like it was nothing. And it was a bot. Like, I never see bots play like this. Nguyen. Guys, Nguyen, you, you gotta try this guy out. Shoot that. Why is it lagging? Oh my god, this game, bro. I don't understand why there's a lag on an offline kickoff mode. It's 1-1. We're back in the fight. Gyro. Gyro. What a save. Let's go. Finish that. Damn, this keeper's on point right now. Oh! Last minute winner for Ferenc Varos. We couldn't. Bro, I lost some professional difficulty. I gotta get better at this FIFA for sure. Ferenc Varos. Actually looking like a somewhat OP side in this game. A lot of their players are pretty quick. And none of ours are. So, yeah, I mean, couldn't grab the win with Hajduk Split today. Got a draw with Ukraine as well. So, like I said, let me know in the comments what you want to see next on this channel in regards to FIFA or any other video ideas you have. I'm obviously not going to stop the prediction videos and all that. Thank you all for me. It's the end. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed. Looking forward to hearing your suggestions. I'll see you all very, very soon. Lock and